G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now, today, I'm going to use my small poinsettia mold. I've got small, medium and large. This is the small. It's 20 centimeters across, which is eight inches. And I thought I'd put in, because it's only a little one, I thought I'd put in a little druzy center. Now, my druzies, this is the small druzy, <laughs> if I can hold it. Oh gosh. So I just, I um, actually marked the back and did that and put a pen around it and then cut that out with my little scissors. So there's no reason why you can't cut these into whatever shape you want. Um, they come in a set of four if you're interested. I probably don't need that extra little strip. Um, now, before you stick them down, you do need to make sure that they're really clean on the back because silicone wants to stick to silicone. So if you're using my moulds, you will get a nice... Um, like a suction. I'm not sure how they work on those really cheap sort of Chinese molds. I haven't tried them. I've only tried them on mine. Now, I'm going to do reds today. So I have got five minutes before I need to decant. So I thought I'd just get started. I want to see what will happen. Instead of just leaving that clear, I want to see what will happen if I put a little bit of chameleon dust on it. And I'm going to use this one. Red, orange, yellow by Nick Pro. So what I'll just dust a little bit on. So basically going for like a little bit of a reddish theme today. So rather than just have plain um, like druzy crystals in the center, which are really beautiful as well, but I've done that. And I just thought, I wonder what would happen. Like I'm not going to pour, oh, I was going to say I'm not going to pour black on it, but you never know. You never know. If it works nicely, if it blooms, I may do a background. I'm not going to turn this one into a bowl. It's just going to be, just going to be like a, a tray, you know, a plate, something pretty to look at. And you can put it in a stand, in a little plate stand, and just display them. You don't always have to turn them into a bowl or a, a tray or something. All right, so there we go. I'm trying to do around the edges as well. And so that's that one. That is, let me get the lid on properly. That is the Nick Pro. Hopefully that zoomed in. I couldn't tell. All right, now I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake, shake over here. Oh gosh, now is that the middle? It's really hard to tell if that's the middle without actually getting out and checking it. I'll check it to the center of this. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's seven and a half. Look, that'll do. It needs to go up just a touch. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to tell if it's exactly in the center, isn't it? But there we go. Now I'm just going to push it down with that brush that I've already used. Hopefully that will be enough to just secure it down there. Now the other thing I thought I would do going to get my dust off here. The other thing I thought I would do is I want to have a little bit of a red center. Actually, I might change that red. Just bear with me. I had two shades of red. One was more of a blood red and the other one was more of like a fire energy red. I'm just going to change it to this one. I just think it matches that better. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. And this, I'm just going to go around the edge with this. Mm. We don't need, it's hard to know how much to use. All right, I'm just going to pinch a little bit of this resin. It's the 360 plus. Actually, I might go back and put that rest of that glitter in. It's just a glitter by, um, I think it's Larissi. It comes in bags, but I buy these little containers, these little jars, and I like to decant. I don't like jars. I mean, I don't like little bags. <laughs> they get everywhere. They're messy. Right, so that, that looks good. Yep, that'll do. Let's move that away. Um, and I'm just going to pop 30 grams in my cup here. This is for my, my white. So I thought I'd start early. That way I could still decant at my 20 minute mark. Because I do like to decant at my 20 minute mark. Right, 
Oh gosh, made a bit of a mess in there. All right, so I'm going to quickly just go around with this red. Make some room. I always put things in my way. I'm just going to pinch my little paper cup there so I can hopefully get around the edge. Try and get a little bit closer to the actual mold. That way I can get a nice little stream. <laughs> Going up the side a bit. It's tricky. It's tricky. All right. A little bit more just there. Now it is going to move. Um, you know, when I pour the clear in it, it will move. But being, being glitter, um, it should kind of sink. I'm just going to push it into the edges there. It'll kind of sink a bit. And what you're looking at now is going to be the back, the underside of the coaster. So I don't mind if the glitter kind of sinks a little bit. Or if it floats, it'll float across the back, the underside, which is fine. Right, let's decant the rest of this now. Just pour it into the middle there. I don't mind if that centerpiece isn't red, red. It's not what I was going for. I mean, I guess I could have just used like a red mica powder in hindsight. <laughs> in hindsight, that would have been a good idea just to use a red mica powder, but I didn't about it at the time I just thought oh because I've been doing a lot of chameleon powders lately I just thought oh what have I got that's kind of reddish that was the closest it was like a red orange but um yeah that was the that was the closest that I had so we'll just give that a bit of a torch there now I can see a little bubble sitting there come on out you come my video just stopped recording. I have no idea why. Um, I don't know where you got up to. So, um, yeah, I'm using the red and the sugar light in Let's Resin. So the darker one, I think, is the red. So we'll just go around. Don't necessarily want to put too much in the, the center. I mean, it'll probably move into the center anyway. But I kind of just want to... Keep it away from the center if possible yeah I don't know why my camera stopped recording it's never done that before I got a little warning notice on it and when I looked up because it's it's not far from me I can I can look into it sometimes I can just see like a dark screen now I can't really see what you're seeing but I had this little message pop up it stopped recording so yeah I don't know where you got up to I'm sorry why do these things happen sometimes? Hey, they, they just happen. I have no idea why. Now I'm going to just pop a little bit more of this dark. Oh, it's hard to get the drops out. Okay. I'll have to put a bit more of this on. What's the time? Oh gosh, it's my piping time already. Gosh. Gosh. All right, I better stop with this and get on to my white. So I'm going to use, I've got 30 grams of um, resin. I'm going to do three drops. One, two, three. I like to do one drop per 10 grams. Feel as if it's missing a bit here still. You've got to try and put your inks in though, um, like before you start piping, like good five minutes beforehand. Otherwise, they the inks move, and then it makes your your flowers move, your blooms that you do. And it sounds weird, but it's true, you guys. It's true. I learned it the hard way. All right, I'm going to swirl a bit in a sec with my little stick. Now, um, I did three drops of that, so double of that is six of the piñata. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm supposed to be piping already. So, oh, I thought starting earlier and getting my glitter and things in earlier would help, but it just takes time, doesn't it? It does, it just takes time. All right, I'm going to use my stick to, to pipe, so to speak. I'm just going to swirl these around a little bit just to kind of help that blend a little bitty okay that's that done all right you guys here we go now I'm going to stir wipe the bottom and then what's on the top is going to be my what I'm going to use You do need to have your, um, quite a lot. I mean, I've told you this before. You've got to have quite a lot of white so that it can spread nicely. And when I mean quite a lot of white, I don't mean a lot of paste. I mean a lot of on your stick here. See, I'm making quite a nice thick line. Well, I'm trying to anyway. You don't want to use too much paste because it's heavy and it'll sink. So you don't want to do that. But you do want a nice wide little stripe there and I've dropped it out hopefully you won't notice that all right here we go next row I like to start on the outside because I like to have my you know a clean stick oh gosh I knew I'd forgotten something Put that there. Hopefully it'll stop it dripping so much. And also I'm hoping that I'm not going to get too much pink. You know, red and white together. Pink. But I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that the white will... Well, the red will stay kind of reddish. That's my plan. Hope this works. It's... Um, it's winter here now in Australia. The resin acts differently in the colder weather, but it's 20 degrees in my studio at the moment. I did put the heater on to bring it up to 20 degrees. So I'm hoping it will be okay and it'll bloom. Yeah, that's that one. All right, now. <laughs> My cup's gone pink, so I really can't... I don't want to use any more for the outside because, you know, I want to keep the white on the outside. So there we go. That's all I can do. I guess maybe I could have made my outside lines a little bit um, thicker. But that's how it is. Now I'm just going to come through if I see any... Any blobs, any heavy bits that need to be just kind of broken up a little bit. I'll do that. It's not really going to change your, your design too much, but I think it'll help just with the any blobs that you might have. It's a bit hard to see. <laughs> now he's, you see how the glitter's sort of gone over the top? That's what I was saying to you earlier. I don't mind if the glitter does that because this is going to be the this is going to be the back, and you're not going to see this. All right, let's torch. All right, now we'll just have to wait. Cross our fingers and toes um, that it will bloom. I did, I, I did come up to it, you know, a few minutes later. I was supposed to do it at 25 minutes, and I think I did it like 28 minutes. So it may not want to bloom in the centre. This is a little bit of white paste that I dropped in there. I'll just get my little heat gun and put it on low.
just to give the center a bit of a, a push really. Right, that's all. And we'll see if that will, will encourage it to move more because sometimes your centers don't move as much. I'll just give it a few minutes and if I think that the center is not blooming very much I'll do my little magic trick to make it bloom. So anyway I'll leave it at that just for a few minutes, clean up this mess and uh, I'll come back to you. I'll see if it's, see if it's blooming. I can't get my gloves off. I like to reuse my gloves. <laughs> I'm going to take them off carefully, but they don't always want to come off easily, do they? All right. Now let's have a little look. Come in. You can see the outside. I know it's a bit tricky to see, isn't it, with the glitter and things over it, but the, the outside looks to, to be blooming. Inside, I can't really tell, but... Anyway, like I said, I'll come back in a few minutes and if I need to do my little secret blooming trick, I will do that. Back soon. Okay, you guys, it's been a few minutes and as you can see, it's all closed up. So hopefully, because the resin has moved, you know, this much, because it had that big opening in the middle, the resin's moved, so I'm assuming that it has bloomed because when your resin moves, it pulls that little white strip that you've made and it pulls it in and makes it spread and bloom. So I'm assuming it's done that. Um, normally I would do a little swirl, but I'm trying to decide if I should do a little swirl or whether I should just leave it. Look, mm, gee, I'm in two minds about it. Because I've got the crystals in the back there, the druzies. Um, I think I'll, I'll just leave it, hey? We'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. I think, across fingers, that it's going to work really beautifully. So I will come back and I'll do a black top coat, okay? Um, I think that will just look spiffo. Right. So I will see you in about five hours, four hours maybe, when it's time to do the top coat. But you can see how the red has bloomed beautifully. You can't really see the white very well against the white mold, but... By putting the black on, I think you will be able to see these white blooms on the edges here. So, oh, I'm very excited. All right, I'll see you for the next top coat soon. Righto, guys, this has set. So, I've mixed up some black. I just used the Platinum 360 Plus again. And I've made up half a cup. Just half a cup should do fine. And just pour it on, hey? Might not even need it all. We shall see. Just spread that out. Might have to get a little pointy silicone thing to get into those corners, those little points. It might, it'll probably go on its own. I'm just impatient and want to hurry it along. All right. Oh my gosh. I am so looking forward to this tomorrow. You know, when you wake up in the morning and you think, oh, I've got something to unmold. I'm going to be so excited tomorrow morning. I just have to wait. Be patient. Just wait. All right. That's going in there. Got a tiny bit left. I do have a new holographic mold though that I want to try out. So I'll Pop that leftover black into that. Alrighty, quick little torch. And there we go. Alrighty, guys. That's it. Cross your fingers for me. I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early. Righto, it's the next day and I'm super excited. I haven't even sat down and had my coffee yet. I've got my coffee here next to me. Right, let's unmold, hey? Hopefully it's not going to catch anywhere. I always have a couple of little areas where the overflow catches. Just loosen it all the way around. 
Alrighty. I think that's I think that's got it. Yep. There we go. Throw that over there. Alright. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Please work, please work, please work. Ready? Oh, I forgot I had to do this. Oh wow, look at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I totally forgot that I had to do this. Oh, and you're joking me. <gasps> Look at it, you guys. Oh, that is just incredible. Wow. So the way I see it, my little eyes, my little brain, so we've got this dark red around the outside. It's matching this dark red in the middle here. And then we've got this kind of more of a pinky tone here on the second layer which is matching this more sort of pinkish tone in the center so we've got like red and black with a, a little bit of pink oh wow I love it now if you wanted to you could fill that uh, with some with some clear you could do a top coat on the whole thing if you wanted to um, I'm not going to bother I think it'll look really cute with one of those little um, you know the little tea lights that you can buy that would look really sweet just sitting in there. Oh, I love it. I need to take a, a nice photo for you. Now it's it's having a different, it looks slightly different. Let me just zoom. I'm thinking it's almost like a wave look. I'm wondering if the glitter has anything to do with with how it's changed the bloom see the center here these ones it hasn't done it on those ones but these ones up here where the glitter is it's kind of like the glitters grabbed it and ripped it it's really interesting I've never noticed that before but can you see what I mean in here? And then over here, this one hasn't got it because there's no glitter up there. That is just so cool. Love that effect. All right, come on, camera focus again. All righty, so there you go. Put you back to normal focus. <laughs> Playing with your eyes this morning. Oh, wow. I really love it. I'm sorry it's a bit dark. It's... um. I'll take a nice photo in the light. It's only seven o'clock in the morning. I was so keen to, to come and unmold that, um, yeah, <laughs> it's going to go back to its normal light. All right. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy with it, you guys. So happy. Yay. All righty. If you do want my little inserts, not this one in particular, but if you want a little set, they're in my eBay store. Link is below. Everyone says to me, where's the store? The link is below in the description. Um, yeah, I've got different sizes, some are really big, some are really small, and you know, you can cut them whatever shape you want them to be, hearts, diamonds, little circles, oh my gosh, I just love this one, bit different, hey, nice to see something a bit different, and there's some um, poinsettia tray molds also in my store if you're wanting that one, all right, thanks for watching guys, love you all, take care, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, <laughs> bye for now. I'm so excited.